Welcome to the next video in the Boolean series. In this video, we will look at some more examples of relatively simple truth tables. Now, let's look at an example which is a slightly bit more difficult. Not P or Q and R. So in this case, now I have got three different inputs because I have got three different letters. So the number of rows in my truth table, which is calculated by 2 to the n, in this case n, the number of inputs is 3. Therefore, this will be 2 to the 3, which is 8. So I have got P, I have got Q, and I have got R. And the input combination, half of 8 is 4, so I'm going to copy 4 trues and I'm going to copy four forces. Then I'm just going to copy two trues, two forces, until I finish filling the table. And then in the last column, I'm just going to do them alternating one by one. Now, in this case, you can see that I have got every different combinations and I'm not repeating any one of them. So this is the starting of the setup of the table. Now, what are the intermediate steps before we can actually find the final answer for the output? Now, there is a bracket and within the bracket I have got P or Q. P or Q will have to be one that I need to calculate. But then there is a NOT operation in front, so I going to have to apply that to the output of P or Q and then at the end I'm going to have to use the end operation to combine everything together. So P or Q. I'm going to use this table. Now what do I know about the OR? The OR only returns false if both of the inputs are false. So, I'm going to run through the table and find the only inputs when both of them are false and the rest of them I can just quickly fill in by trues. I could have gone through two or true gives me true, true or true gives me true, etc. But this one is a nice and easy shortcut to remember. What does the not do? change true to false and change false to true. So the top half up to here is true, so every one of them will be false. And the bottom two are forces, which get then will turn into trues. And then I have to do the final combination of not P or Q and R. So which are the two that I need to combine together here? I need to use this input and I need to use the R. And what do I know about the end? And is only true if both of them are true. So I'm going to go through the rows and I'm going to filter out do I have double trues in here? I have one in here and I haven't got it anywhere else. So, the rest of them will have to be filled in with forces because and it's only true if both of the inputs are true. In any other cases, the and will be false. So, knowing these shortcuts can save you quite some time on filling in the tables. And now, let's look at the last example for this video. P if, only if, Q and not R. So this is a similar example to the previous one because P, Q and R, I've again have got three different inputs. So P, Q, R. 2 to the power of 3 gives me 8, so to start the truth table of correctly, I'm going to have to place down 4 trues, 4 forces, 
two trues, two fourths, and then just alternating them one by one. Right, set up, starting set up done correctly. Then what do I need to look at? I need to look at my priorities. There is a bracket here, and inside the bracket there is Q and not R. To be able to combine together Q and not R, first I need to know what the values are for not R. So that's what I need to calculate first. Once I've got the values for not R, I can calculate Q and not R. And once that's done, I can combine P together with the Q and not R using the if and only if operation. Let's get started. R is here, so what is not R? Every true becomes false and every false becomes true. So now, which are the two columns that I need to combine together to find Q and not R? I need Q and I need not R. So, end operation. The end only returns true if both of the inputs are true. So I'm going to try to filter those ones out. And the rest of them I'm going to fill in with false. Now, if you are not using lined paper, then you want to be very careful about making sure that you're lining these trues and false values relatively easy to see because if you are getting a little bit wonky then you might take a force for the upper or lower row instead of the row that it belongs to so be careful with that now i've got q and not r but what i need here now is the if and only if table remember if and only if it's true if the two input values are exactly the same and it's false if the input values are different so which columns am I going to use here? Well, I need to use P and I need to use the Q and not R, which we just calculated here. So if they are the same, I'm going to return true. If they are the different, I'm going to return false. So look at this. True, false, different. So I'm returning a false. True, true, the same. I'm returning a true. True and false different, I'm returning a false. True and false different, returning a false. False and false the same, so I'm returning a true. False and true different, I'm returning a false. False and false the same, I'm returning a true. And false and false the same again, I'm returning a true. I hope you are gaining confidence in finding solutions to truth tables now. In the next couple of videos, we will look at some more difficult examples. However, now it's your turn to do some practice questions. The answers are at the end. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.